So it's a snowing outside. 12 inches just fell. It took me a good hour, 20 minutes to get home from school. And guess what? I'm still here for all of you because I love ya. Today we are gonna talk about feeling like an idiot. Yep, feeling like an idiot. Hey friends and fellow accomplices, my name is Joe Karlowski. I am the super brave teacher. Super brave teacher! Welcome to the channel. You are awesome. You appreciate it. You are loved just for being you. And if you could please like this channel, share this channel, like this video, share this video, because every time you do, we are sending a message to Google, to YouTube, and to the world that people like me, gay, gay teachers like me, lesbian teachers, transgender teachers, bisexual teachers, everybody on the spectrum is important and that our voices matter and that we need more visibility. Can you do that for me? I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I have such a fear of looking like an idiot. I don't know if it's because I'm the third born. I don't know if it's because I grew up um, in the church my whole life. My dad's a pastor, as you all know. And it's just that whole idea of like, uh, uh, don't let, don't let it ever be known that you ever do idiotic things or feel idiotic or just aren't perfect. So let's dive into it. If you're like me, probably the majority of your day, you're on your B game or maybe your B plus game or maybe if you're really lucky, your A minus game. But it's funny because usually I'm on my B game and I'm trying to convince you, I'm trying to convince the world that I'm on my A plus game all the time. And not only is it exhausting, it's not realistic. How is it possible for me to be my A plus game all the time? So where, but where does that come from? I think it, like I said before, I think it comes from that idea that people are watching me and that I have to present that I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And guess what? A lot of times I'm not okay. But what that does is, I've learned, is it doesn't allow others to just help me and do what I love to do, which is help, they, it, it doesn't allow them to help me and to even know what I need. So I've been really working on, for myself, just showing that sometimes I'm an idiot, sometimes I do idiotic things, and I'm not even putting myself down when I say that I'm very tongue-in-cheek, just very lightheartedly saying like, oh, there you go again, John. I'm not like, you're an idiot, you freaking suck. No, it's just that whole idea of like, sometimes I do, <laughs> very idiotic things that I need to be gentle on myself for. And I have seen again and again that when I do show people that I'm not perfect, that I do idiotic things, that I kind of live in my B game and not my A game all the time, they're like, wait a second, me too. And all of a sudden we have this like vulnerability thing happening and people are like, wait, if you're gonna be vulnerable with me, can I share with you that I've been on my C game lately? I'm like, you've been on your C game? Is it January? Is it both of us? And then we get to just have these beautiful conversations and feel connected and realize that we have this beautiful, rich community of people in our lives for a reason. No one, no one is impressed if I'm on my A game all the time. No one even notices, to be honest. So why don't we all, okay, we, why don't I just start with sharing my truth, which is, I'm on my B game, and that's okay. Sometimes it's my A game, sometimes it's my C game. I'm not even gonna say it's an F game because I'm not a failure. We've already talked about that. But yeah, and that's okay. It's okay to risk being an idiot because sometimes in my most idiotic things, the most beautiful things happen. I remember last Friday, we were just having, I was just feeling so off with the kids and I was like, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna do a, a magic trick for you guys. So I did like this card trick. I don't know if you know it, but like it's like the Four Kings card trick and we just had fun. And I realized instead of just pushing through and trying to push to my A game, I'm gonna acknowledge that I'm on my B game and I'm just gonna have fun with the kids. And I just played, did magic tricks with them and turned it into this huge lesson and it was so much fun just being idiotic and goofy and silly with them and being really who I am. So friends, don't be afraid to be an idiot. And I say that with all my love. Don't be afraid to be goofy and silly and just come across as not perfect 
it's wonderful, it's okay, it is awesome. So I challenge you, and I'm gonna challenge myself to show up this week and to be our full self, to show our B side, to show our C side, to show our D side, and to let that happen because that's actually when our A side comes out, our A game comes out because it lets the world know that we're full, awesome people. And I want you to know how awesome you are, how appreciated you are, and how loved you are just for being you. And Joel, I see you, I know you, and I value you. Thanks for being you.